Have you ever found yourself caught in the tumult of life's challenges, surrounded by negativity and uncertainty? Have you ever wondered how to navigate the labyrinth of existence with grace and resilience, undeterred by the obstacles that lie in your path? If so, then this video is for you. In this captivating exploration of the human experience, we delve deep into the essence of self-awareness and introspection, uncovering the timeless truths that lie at the heart of our journey through life. Through insightful reflections and profound insights, we illuminate the path to true fulfillment and contentment, guiding you on a transformative journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of the human psyche, delving into the depths of our innermost thoughts and emotions. Discover the power that lies within you to rise above the cacophony of negativity that surrounds you, forging ahead with unwavering determination towards a life of purpose and meaning. Don't miss out on this opportunity to gain valuable insights and practical tools for navigating life's challenges with grace and resilience. Tune in until the end to unlock the secrets to unlocking your true potential and living a life of joy, abundance, and fulfillment. Before we begin, I would appreciate it. If you liked the video, you can help me continue spreading the teachings of Buddhist and Zen stories. If you are not subscribed, I recommend you subscribe and activate the bell to avoid missing any videos. As we embark on the journey of exploring those lessons, kindly comment below with the corresponding lesson number if you find these teachings helpful. Now, let's begin. If you like the topic of this video, please comment number one. If you don't, please comment number zero to let me know so I can make a better video for you. Now let's begin. Once upon a serene evening, amidst the tranquil walls of the monastery, a young contemplative student monk approached his venerable master with a heart heavy with unrest. Master, he began with a voice trembling with emotion, I find myself unable to continue dwelling within these sacred halls. The atmosphere here, once a sanctuary for the soul, now feels stifling and suffocating. I yearn for the solace of a distant, peaceful monastery where the whispers of inner peace aren't drowned out by the cacophony of worldly distractions. The master, with a gaze as deep as the ancient wisdom he possessed, regarded his troubled disciple with a mixture of understanding and curiosity. What troubles you, my child? I inquired gently, his voice a soothing balm to the student's troubled spirit. And so the student poured forth his concerns, his words a torrent of pent-up frustrations and disillusionment. Master, he confessed, the very air in this temple seems tainted with toxicity. There are those among us who have allowed the poison of politics to seep into their hearts, poisoning the purity of their intentions. Others indulge in the bitter fruit of gossip, their tongues weaving a web of negativity that saps the vitality from our spiritual endeavors. How can one hope to nurture the seeds of enlightenment amidst such barren soil? As the students' lamentations echoed through the hallowed halls, the master listened with a patience born of countless lifetimes of introspection and understanding. With a gentle nod, he acknowledged the gravity of his disciples' plight. I hear your concerns, my child, he replied his voice carrying the weight of centuries-old wisdom. Indeed, the journey of the spirit is fraught with obstacles, both from within and without. But know this, every challenge we face is an opportunity for growth, a chance to test the strength of our resolve and the depth of our faith. And so, with a heavy heart, but a determined spirit, the master bestowed upon his disciple a task a final test of his readiness to face the trials that lay ahead. Take this spoonful of water, he instructed, handing the student a simple wooden spoon filled to the brim with crystalline liquid. Carry it with you as you traverse the winding paths of this monastery. And remember, my child, let not a single drop be spilled, for each precious droplet represents the purity of your intentions and the steadfastness of your resolve. With a sense of purpose renewed, the student embarked upon a solemn quest, 
the weight of the spoon in his hand a tangible reminder of the burden he bore. Through shadowed cloisters and sun-dappled courtyards, he journeyed, his footsteps guided by the silent rhythm of his breath and the steady beat of his heart. And though the path was fraught with temptation and distraction, he remained steadfast in his resolve, his focus unwavering, his spirit undaunted. Hours passed like fleeting shadows, and as the sun dipped below the horizon, the student returned to his master's side, the spoon still cradled gently in his palm. Master, he exclaimed, his voice tinged with a mixture of relief and triumph. I have completed the task you set before me. Not a single drop of water has been spilled, for my mind was as clear as the untroubled surface of a mountain lake. The master regarded his disciple with a smile as warm as the first light of dawn. Well done, my child, he said, his voice a gentle breeze that stirred the leaves of the ancient trees. You have proven yourself worthy of the path you seek to tread. Go now, and may the peace you seek be found within the depths of your own heart. And so, with a heart full of gratitude and a spirit renewed, the student monk set forth on his journey, his footsteps guided by the light of inner wisdom and the promise of a brighter tomorrow. For he knew that true peace could only be found within, amidst the silent chambers of the soul, where the echoes of eternity whispered their timeless truths for all who dared to listen. The master monk, his wise eyes reflecting the flickering candlelight of the monastery's sacred chamber, inclined his head in solemn contemplation as he considered the student's plea. Your request is granted, my child, he intoned, his voice a steady river flowing through the silence of the hallowed space. But before you depart these hallowed halls, there is one final task you must undertake, a test of your resolve and your commitment to the path of enlightenment. The student, his heart aflutter with anticipation, bowed low before his venerable master, his eyes alight with a fervent determination to prove himself worthy of the master's teachings. I am ready, master, he declared, his voice echoing softly against the stone walls of the chamber. Tell me what I must do, and I shall endeavor to fulfill your wishes to the best of my abilities. With a solemn nod, the master monk approached the student, a simple wooden spoon clasped in his weathered hands. Take this spoonful of water, he instructed, his voice carrying the weight of centuries-old wisdom. And with each step you take, let it be a testament to the purity of your intentions and the strength of your spirit. Carry it with you as you traverse the labyrinthine corridors of this monastery and bring it back to me unspoiled by the passage of time. The student, his hands trembling slightly with the weight of the task before him, accepted the spoonful of water with a reverence befitting the sacredness of the moment. I understand, master, he replied, his voice steady despite the tumult of emotions raging within his breast. I shall guard this precious cargo with my life and return it to you as unsullied as the day that it was entrusted to my care. And so with the weight of the world resting upon his shoulders and the echoes of his master's words ringing in his ears, the student set forth on his journey, his every step a testament to his unwavering dedication to the path of enlightenment. Through shadowed cloisters and sun-dappled courtyards he walked, the spoonful of water cradled gently in his hands, its surface shimmering like liquid silver in the golden light of dawn. And though the path was fraught with peril and temptation, the student remained resolute in his purpose, his gaze fixed upon the distant horizon where the promise of a peaceful monastery awaited him. For he knew that only by overcoming the trials set before him could he hope to attain the inner peace and enlightenment he so fervently sought. Hours turned to days and days to weeks as the student journeyed ever onward, his determination unyielding in the face of adversity. And when at last he returned to the monastery, his footsteps weary but his spirit undimmed, the master monk greeted him with a smile as warm as the first light of dawn. Well done, my child, he said, his voice a gentle breeze that stirred the leaves of the ancient trees. You have proven yourself worthy of the path you seek to tread. 
Go now, and may the peace you seek be found within the depths of your own heart. Filled with a fervent determination to prove himself worthy of the Master's trust and to earn his passage to the tranquil sanctuary of a peaceful monastery, the student monk clasped the wooden spoon tightly in his grasp, his fingers trembling ever so slightly with anticipation. With a resolute gaze fixed upon the horizon of his aspirations, he embarked upon his task with a sense of purpose that burned brightly within his soul, illuminating the labyrinthine corridors of the monastery with the intensity of his resolve. Step by measured step, the student monk navigated the winding paths of the monastery, his every movement a testament to his unwavering commitment to the sacred duty entrusted to him. With each footfall echoing softly against the stone floors, he carried the spoonful of water with a delicacy akin to that of a fragile blossom cradled in the palm of his hand, mindful of the weight of his responsibility and the significance of his undertaking. Through shadowed alcoves and sun-dappled courtyards, the student monk pressed forward, his senses attuned to the subtle rhythms of his surroundings and the silent whispers of the ancient stones that bore witness to his journey. And though the path ahead was fraught with obstacles and distractions, he remained steadfast in his purpose, his focus unyielding in the face of adversity. As the hours stretched into eternity, the student monk continued on his quest with a determination that burned brighter with each passing moment. And when at last he returned to the master, his heart soaring with the triumph of his accomplishment, his eyes alight with the radiance of newfound understanding, he could scarcely contain the joy that bubbled forth from within him like a spring in the desert. Master, master, he exclaimed, his voice ringing with the purest of jubilation. I have done it. I have carried this spoonful of water all around the monastery without spilling a single drop. Behold, with a flourish, he presented the wooden spoon to his venerable mentor, its contents shimmering like liquid silver in the fading light of day. The master, his expression one of quiet pride and profound satisfaction, regarded his disciple with a warmth that mirrored the gentle glow of the setting sun. Well done, my child, he said, his voice a soft melody that danced upon the air. You have proven yourself to be worthy of the task set before you and of the journey that lies ahead. Go now and may the peace you seek be found within the tranquil embrace of a peaceful monastery. With a serene smile gracing his lips, the master monk extended his hand in a gesture of acknowledgement towards his devoted disciple. Very well, my student, he remarked, his voice a gentle melody that echoed softly in the chamber's hallowed silence. As promised, you are granted your freedom to embark upon the path that beckons to you. However, before you depart from these sacred grounds, indulge me in a moment of inquiry. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons useful, please comment number one below to let me know that you are still watching this video with me. Turning his gaze towards the student monk, his eyes alight with a quiet curiosity, the master posed a series of questions that bore the weight of wisdom accumulated over countless lifetimes of introspection and observation. As you traverse the labyrinthine corridors of this monastery, carrying the burden of the spoonful of water entrusted to your care, he began, his words measured and deliberate. Did the whispers of idle chatter reach your ears? Were there murmurs of political intrigue of gossip that sought to sow seeds of discord among our brethren. And amidst the noise of the world, did you hear the echoes of negativity that often pervade the human experience? The student monk, his countenance serene and his spirit buoyed by the purity of his intentions, met the master's gaze with a steadfast resolve. No, master, he replied, his voice a calm river flowing through the tranquil depths of his soul. Throughout my journey, I remained wholly focused on the task at hand. My senses attuned solely to the delicate balance of the spoonful of water that I carried with me. The distractions of the world, the idle chatter and discordant murmurs, were but fleeting echoes in the background of my consciousness, drowned out by the clarity of purpose that guided my every step. 
At the student's words, a knowing smile graced the master's features, a testament to the depth of his understanding and the wisdom that flowed through him like a river of enlightenment. Well spoken, my child, he remarked, his voice suffused with a quiet pride that spoke volumes of the bond shared between master and disciple. For it is in the unwavering focus of the mind and the purity of intent that true clarity is found. Go forth now with the knowledge that you have proven yourself worthy of the journey that lies ahead. And may the lessons learned within these walls serve as a beacon of light to illuminate your path in the days to come. In that fleeting moment of clarity, as the master monk's words resonated through the hallowed halls of the monastery, they carried with them a wisdom that transcended the confines of time and space. Behold, my student, he intoned, his voice a steady beacon of guidance amidst the tumult of the world. In the depths of your unwavering focus lies the key to navigating the labyrinth of existence, unswayed by the discordant echoes that seek to lead astray. With a gentle sweep of his hand, the master gestured towards the expanse of the monastery, its ancient stones bearing witness to the ebb and flow of human experience. As you embark upon your journey, he continued, his words infused with the weight of centuries-old wisdom, know that the path ahead may be fraught with challenges and obstacles, both from within and without. Yet in the sanctuary of your own purpose lies the power to transcend the cacophony of negativity that surrounds you. With each syllable that fell from the master's lips, the student felt a profound sense of clarity wash over him, illuminating the path that lay ahead with a clarity that surpassed the bounds of mere comprehension. For you see, my student, the master elucidated, his voice a soothing balm to the weary soul. Wherever you journey in this world, you will inevitably encounter those who seek to sow seeds of doubt and discord casting shadows upon the light of your aspirations. Yet if you remain steadfast in your commitment to your goals and your larger purpose, the master imparted, his words echoing with the resonance of eternal truth, the voices of negativity that assail you will fade into insignificance, mere echoes in the vast expanse of existence. For in the purity of your intent, lies the strength to transcend the limitations of the human condition, to rise above the petty grievances and trivial concerns that beset the mind. With a sense of newfound clarity and purpose, the student absorbed the master's teachings, each word a guiding star illuminating the path that lay ahead. Go forth, my student, the master concluded, his voice a gentle breeze that stirred the stillness of the monastery's sacred chamber. And may the unwavering focus of your spirit be a beacon of light amidst the darkness, guiding you ever closer to the fulfillment of your destiny. Reflect upon the tapestry of existence, woven with the threads of countless experiences and encounters, each contributing to the rich and intricate fabric of life. In every corner of the world, amidst the bustling cities and serene landscapes, you will find a myriad of individuals each bearing their own burdens and joys, their own hopes and fears. Yet amid this vast tapestry, there exists a common thread that binds us all together, the propensity for negativity to permeate our lives, casting shadows upon the light of our aspirations. For as you traverse the winding paths of existence, you will inevitably encounter individuals whose words and actions sow seeds of discord and discontent seeking to divert you from the path of righteousness and clarity. These toxic influences, like thorns amidst a bed of roses, threaten to ensnare you in their web of negativity, leading you astray from the true purpose that lies within. Yet, in the midst of this cacophony of voices, there exists a sanctuary of peace and clarity, the refuge of self-awareness and introspection. By turning your gaze inward, you can shield yourself from the onslaught of external influences, focusing instead on the purity of your own intentions and the clarity of your own path. This is not to say that you should turn a blind eye to the struggles of others or neglect the bonds of empathy and compassion that bind us together as fellow travelers 
on the journey of life. Rather, it is an invitation to cultivate a deeper sense of self-awareness and purpose, to anchor yourself firmly in the truth of your own existence, undeterred by the swirling currents of negativity that threaten to pull you off course. And so, as you navigate the labyrinth of existence, remember that the key to transcending the influence of toxic individuals lies within your own heart. By remaining steadfast in your commitment to your own growth and development, you can rise above the petty grievances and trivial concerns that beset the mind, emerging unscathed from the tempest of negativity that surrounds you. In the end, all the chatter and negativity that pervades your surroundings will fade into insignificance, mere background noise amidst the symphony of existence. For when you are focused on your own journey, guided by the light of your own truth, the shadows of negativity will wither and fade, leaving behind only the radiant glow of your own inner light. Contemplate, if you will, the profound depths of self-awareness and introspection that lie within the recesses of your own consciousness. As you journey through the labyrinth of life, guided by the flickering beacon of your inner truth, do not falter in your resolve to heed the whispers of your own soul. For in the quietude of self-reflection, amidst the clamor of the external world, lies the key to unlocking the door to true fulfillment and contentment. Cast aside, then, the shackles of fear and doubt that threaten to ensnare you in their web of negativity. Instead, embrace the power that resides within you, the power to silence the voices of doubt and uncertainty, and to forge ahead with unwavering determination towards the realization of your deepest aspirations. And as you embark upon this journey of self-discovery, heed not the siren song of negativity that emanates from the lips of those who would seek to lead you astray. For even amidst the darkness, there exists a glimmer of light, a spark of goodness and humanity that flickers within the hearts of even the most seemingly irredeemable souls. Yet, should you find yourself tempted to flee from the trials and tribulations of the world, remember this, wherever you may roam, you will invariably encounter individuals whose words and actions threaten to undermine your sense of peace and well-being. But take heart, for it is not the circumstances of your surroundings that dictate your happiness, but rather the state of your own heart and mind. For true happiness, you see, is not contingent upon external factors, but rather springs forth from the depths of your own being. If you cultivate a sense of contentment and inner peace within yourself, you will find that happiness follows you wherever you may go, like a faithful companion by your side. Conversely, if you allow yourself to be consumed by discontent and unhappiness, no amount of worldly riches or material possessions can fill the void that resides within your soul. Thus, focus not on the external trappings of success and fulfillment, but rather on the inner landscape of your own heart and mind. And so, dear friend, let this be the lesson that you carry with you as you journey through life's myriad twists and turns. Remember to listen to the voice of your own intuition, to concentrate on nurturing your own sense of well-being, and to ignore the naysayers and detractors who would seek to lead you off course. For in the end, it is your own inner compass that will guide you true, lighting the path to a life of meaning, purpose, and fulfillment. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and may you go forth with the blessings of peace, joy, and abundance.